If you are a patchouli lover like myself, then this is an absolute must check out. So let's review it now. Hey, what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel where I upload weekly fragrance content so you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button down below if you love fragrances and be sure to follow me over on my Instagram page. Now, I am so hyped to be reviewing Caesar Ultra by Supers Budapest because this one seriously blew my mind. Of course, being a Patchouli lover, that was kind of given. Patchouli is my, probably my second favorite note of all time and it's done perfectly in this fragrance. And might be my favorite from the house of Supers and they have a ton of bangers. At least from the ones I've tried so far, this one stands out the most. And I'll tell you why that is a little bit later. Now, I do want to shout out Supers for sending this over for review. Of course, that's not going to change my opinions on this fragrance. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. But I did also hook you guys up with a discount code where you can save 10% with code HUNTER10. So if you've been thinking about getting a bottle of Supers because they've been getting so much hype, a lot of people are talking about them, a lot of people are finally getting their nose on them, Use that code and that will save you 10% off at checkout. So let's go over some information now. Caesars Ultra was launched in 2023. I believe this is one of their newer fragrances. I know they do have an original Caesar. I don't know if this is like a flanker to that or what's going on, but as far as the retail price, only only sizes these come in, which is 50 ml. It is going to run you $178, which I think this is the second most expensive fragrance in their entire lineup. But of course, you can use 10% off with my code and that will knock it down to maybe around like 160 or so. The concentration with this is an extrait de parfum and trust me, it wears like one. For the perfumer who is actually the in-house perfumer and a master is Hussein Ergdemus. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I might be butchering that, but he's created all the fragrances for supers and some other niche brands and is known as the master behind the rose note. Uh, with all that information out of the way, let's look at the packaging and presentation you get with Caesars Ultra now. So take a look at this box, which I love the aesthetic they went for. Of course, it's a kind of like a regular black box, Supers Budapest, Extrait de Parfum. You turn it around, they do have a success right there, love, as well as adventure with this kind of a city in the background. And on top, you have Supers Budapest. On the bottom, you do have some of your information as far as ingredients. And then you open it up like so, and your bottle is housed in this kind of felt cutout. Very, very nice box when it comes to the presentation. Let's look at the bottle now. Now, looking at the bottle, this is probably one of my favorite bottles from the collection. I love the gold aesthetic with the black kind of plaque on the front. Buda, uh, Supers Budapest Caesars Ultra Extrait de Parfum. Do you have that background as well? Supers Budapest embossed in a glass, which is a nice touch. Nothing on the back. On top, you have Supers. Nothing inside of the cap, nothing on the atomizers, but these are actually magnetic and they are very, very strong, which is a nice touch. For the notes, you have patchouli, woody notes, musk, aromatic notes, lime, ginger, amber, saffron, iris, magnolia, and rose. And this will be classified as an earthy woody. So let's spray this and test out these atomizers. Beautiful distribution on that atomizer, probably one of the best in the game. So let's go ahead and remind myself of Caesars Ultra now. Any of you guys watching this has the same exact taste as me in fragrances, then this is gonna blow your mind just like it has for me. Because in that opening, guys, you're going to get right away this very earthy aged patchouli. Supers Budapest claims it is three years aged and it comes across extremely natural. I did watch an interview with the perfumer of Supers Budapest and he talks about all the natural ingredients that went into Caesars Ultra. And that's probably why it is a little bit more expensive, especially from their collection. But you can tell this stuff is so high quality. Like I said, you get a very rich patchouli and usually patchouli doesn't make itself known until the base, but this though, you're gonna get that patchouli throughout the entire wearing of the fragrance from the top, mid and base, which is something I love about it. And if you don't know patchouli, it can come across very minty, it can come across green, sometimes chocolatey, earthy, of course. And a lot of people say it smells like a hippie because hippies use patchouli oil, but I don't care. I guess I personally love smelling like a hippie. Now, the other things that are going on in the opening of Caesars Ultra is that earthy patchouli that's aged for three years, along with this very vibrant, refreshing green lime note that just makes this fragrance extremely uplifting upon first spray. And you also get this very zesty, fizzy ginger note alongside that lime and patchouli and if you don't know i've talked about it a lot ginger has quickly become one of my favorite notes in perfumery as well 
I used to not like ginger, but the last year or so, I've come to love it. So just picture a earthy patchouli, very refreshing lime, and the zesty ginger right away. That does add a little bit of spice along with the earthiness and refreshingness in the top. And then once you make your way into the mid of Caesar's Ultra, you are gonna be greeted with this very rich, luxurious iris note. So for all my iris lovers out there, I know there's a ton of you guys watching this one, you're gonna love the mid of this stuff. The iris in here does come across pretty waxy. It's not too lipsticky or makeup-y bag. Just brings a very luxurious touch in here. I mean, this fragrance literally smells rich. Like if I picture a rich smelling fragrance, this comes to mind right away. It smells like something a king would wear. So for all my kings out there, you deserve to smell good with this. Now finally, when you get into the base, which it does take ages, of course, because this stuff is strong. But once you get there, you are gonna be left with this very dry and spicy saffron. And if you're not familiar with saffron, it is the most expensive spice in the world. I am very familiar with the smell of natural saffron since I used it for cooking and stuff. And you could tell like the saffron in here is straight up authentic. It's very dry and spicy. But along with that spicy saffron, you are gonna have this warm, resinous, earthy amber, along with of course that signature patchouli that hasn't gone anywhere since the top note. Just to break it down again, when this fragrance opens, you get that earthy aged patchouli that's very, very rich alongside a refreshing lime and zesty ginger, which starts to dry down to this waxy iris. And then in the base, you have, of course, that spicy saffron that's a little bit dry, along with that warm, resinous amber and earthy patchouli. This isn't just my favorite fragrance from Supers, but honestly, one of my favorite fragrances in my collection entirely, which is crazy for me to say since I own over 500 bottles, but it's that good, which is why I wanted this to be one of the first I review from the house. So for the best seasons to wear, Caesars Ultra, if you do get a bottle of this stuff, is primarily the spring, fall, and winter. I know it does have that kind of refreshing lime and ginger opening, but I think it does wear a little bit too heavy for the high heat summers. So stick to like colder evenings in the spring and obviously the fall and winter, this stuff is gonna shine. For occasions, since like I said, this fragrance literally smells like something a king would wear, that obviously that kind of suits a more formal attire. So you wanna wear this one if you're dressing up it will just kind of wear perfectly when you look nice and you dress classy. But obviously any fragrance you can wear dressed down as well. But trust me, when you smell this, you're gonna agree that this smells like somebody very, very wealthy wearing a couple thousand dollar suit. For gender, me personally, this is gonna be for the men out there. Like I said, a king. This is a king's fragrance. There's nothing feminine about this fragrance at all. I can't even picture one thing that makes this fragrance feminine. Doesn't mean, of course, the ladies out there that do like patchouli and stuff like that, how I described the note breakdown, you can wear it. But for me, guys, this is for you out there. This one's going to the kings rather than the queens. For age groups, this is extremely mature smelling. It's not playful, not youthful. It's not a teenager fragrance, no. This is not a fragrance for the princes. This is a fragrance for the kings, like I keep saying. So. I picture somebody probably 25 and up pulling this one the absolute best. So if you are a gentleman watching this, you are a little bit older, just go ahead and get this fragrance. You're gonna smell incredible. Also very, very unique. Like I own so many patchouli fragrances in my collection and not one of them even come close to smelling like this. That's what I respect about this house because they are fairly new. It's hard for a new house to get a good repetition, of course. And a lot of newer houses are just cloning or inspired by popular houses just to kind of get their feet wet and in the door. This house, however, create bangers that are extremely unique from the ones I've tried. But don't get me wrong, there are some from the house that are kind of similar, but still they go a completely different route. And this one though, I can't even think of another fragrance that comes close. Now wrapping the review off talking on the performance. Wow, this is one of the strongest fragrances I've ever got my nose on guys, easily lasts over 12 hours on skin without any problems. I mean, over 12 hours, probably up to close to that 24 hour mark, to be honest. If you are a person that sprays their clothes, <laughs> this is gonna last weeks. I actually have a funny story. I was wearing a nice kind of jacket and I was wearing this fragrance when I went to church, right? And I still have that jacket hung up. Don't judge me, I do wash my clothes, of course, but when you have a nice jacket, you don't always wanna wash it, obviously. And it's crazy, because I didn't even spray the jacket, right? I sprayed like my inner elbows, and every time I wear that jacket now, all I smell is this fragrance. Even when I take it off and I smell my elbow, this fragrance is on my elbow like I just sprayed it. By far a nuclear beast mode powerhouse, one of the strongest fragrances in my collection, hands down. 
And one of my favorite things in a fragrance is a dry down of patchouli. Nothing is better than a patchouli that's been dry down in a fragrance. I love the smell of that, man. It's probably my favorite smell ever, and this is what you're gonna get in here. And of course, for the projection, this is an absolute room filler, the kind of fragrance that makes itself known before anybody even sees you. So for all my kings watching this, when you're wearing this when you walk in somewhere, or like you're behind a door or something, all the women are gonna be like, who is that? What, what do I smell? And then you come in, they're like, wow, it's that guy over there. Because also this is an extremely sexy fragrance, probably one of the sexiest fragrances from the House of Supers. So all day longevity, even into like almost a week on clothes at least, and just a room filler projection, all in all, one of my favorite fragrances, especially as of recent, man. And trust me, if you guys do decide to get your nose on this, you will not be disappointed. So that's gonna do it for my review of Supers Budapest Caesars Ultra. And it's crazy because I don't see many people talking about this fragrance from the house. Most of the shine goes to Hamzat Smash, which is great, and Morocco, which I would say are probably the two most popular, but this one outshines both of them for me personally. But if any of you guys have got your nose on any from the House of Supers and you have any recommendations that I haven't covered yet, leave a comment down below about those. And also leave a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and you already know I'll catch all of you back here in my next upload. Take care, everybody.